Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to write all the valid sets of quantum numbers um, for n equals 7. Uh, this is actually kind of easy. If you watched the uh, last video, uh, you'll see how I explained the different types of uh, quantum numbers and uh, what the L values represent as far as the orbitals. So let's go ahead and get these calculated. Well, the first thing you'll do is you'll start with four columns. This is four types. You'll start with the n column, okay? Then you'll start, which is the principal quantum number. Then you'll start with the uh, L column, which is the orbital quantum numbers. Then you'll start with the largest column, which will be the magnetic quantum numbers, which is uh, noted as ML. And then your last column, which is also very, very small, uh, will be the spin quantum numbers, which will be M. S. Now, the n value is 7, so that's the only one that you will have, n equals 7. Now, all of your possible orbital quantum numbers will start by being as high as one less as the principal quantum numbers, because, that, because that's the largest it can be. That's its restriction. It can only be up to one less than the n. So basically, all possible L values would be 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and zero. Now I chose this problem to be n equals seven since there's seven uh, rows in the periodic table because really any after that is pretend um, uh, principal quantum numbers. I mean meaning they, they, they can exist mathematically and theoretically but well, I'm sorry, but N is the largest that I deal with in my class. Now, your LMLs is basically a starting with this number, except it will run from negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Now this one, if the L value is 5, which is the orbital quantum number, the magnetic quantum numbers can be any of, any of the following numbers. They could be negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this one, of course, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This one, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. This one, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. This one, negative 1, 0, and positive 1. And finally, last but not least, this one would be 0. Now as far as your spin quantum numbers, basically just follow across here and get ready to write just plus or minus one half. It's always that. That's what's beautiful about that number. It's always positive or negative one half. It could be positive one half or it could be negative one half because that's the different types of spins. Basically clockwise and counterclockwise spins. Okay, so just make sure that the number of positive and negative one halves you write down are equal to the number of uh, rows that you have written down of orbital quantum numbers and uh, magnetic quantum numbers and uh, you, you should be fine. So just make sure you don't make any boo-boos writing this chart down. So uh, notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orbital quantum numbers and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spin numbers and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, rows of magnetic quantum numbers. So, now, like I said, these this is really easy. All that this is is just, it's kind of redundancy of plus and minuses in the middle and this is the one that a lot of people, if they mess up on, it's this or they might accidentally start out if this is 7 we'll also be writing a 7 and just going down and, and stopping it at 1 but remember you gotta run from 6 all the way down to 0 and write all these in because these are all of the possible 
sets of quantum numbers that can exist for n equals 7. Okay? Now, just remember, if you want to know what these mean, you can always look back at this chart right here. And if you want to, you can read back in your chemistry book or you can read online and research a deeper meaning of what these orbital column numbers can tell you. But I just showed you how to reproduce all of the valid sets of quantum numbers, and I hope this helps. All right, guys.